When is it appropriate to change the hit points of a monster after a battle has already begun? For some DMs, the answer is never, and that's perfectly fine. For other DMs, there are circumstances where we consider it okay to tweak a monster's hit points for the enjoyment of a battle even after that battle has already begun. There's a lot of different topics in D&D that we can all kind of agree to, and then there's a few topics where there are people that are really for it or really against it, and this is one of those topics. The good news is that for your game, nobody can tell you what's right or wrong except for you and your players. So even though we can share experiences among hundreds of thousands of different dungeon masters, the only thing that matters is what you actually bring to your table to run for your players. Generally speaking, I don't think DMs have a problem tweaking monster hit points before a battle begins. That's all part of the design process. If we're going to build a war troll and we want our troll to have way more than the typical hit points of a traditional troll, giving it 150 hit points isn't out of hand because that's part of the story of this new monster that we created. Where it gets tricky is if we ask ourselves, is it okay to change a monster's hit points like this after a battle has already begun? I've talked about this before in my Dials of Monster Difficulty. I basically have four dials that I think DMs should have a hand on in order to change up the pacing or the feeling of a battle whenever they feel it's appropriate. And those four dials are a monster's hit points, the number of monsters, the amount of damage those monsters do, and the number of attacks that a monster has. Ideally, you're turning these dials before a battle has begun. You're using them to tweak a monster beforehand to give you a particular type of feeling for that monster that fits the story of the game. But I also believe it's okay to turn these dials after a battle has already begun for the overall enjoyment of the game. I like to imagine that these dials have resistance built in. I don't think we should be turning them all the time whenever we feel like it. Instead, I think that we should be really careful about when we're turning those dials in order to make sure that we're doing so for the fun of the game at the table. Think of each dial as having a little spring in it that's constantly pulling it back to the average. And if we want to turn it, we have to give it more and more resistance to turn it one way or the other. I'll give one example where I think it's perfectly acceptable to turn the hit point dial during the middle of a battle, and that's to end a battle that has overstayed its welcome. Probably the best time to turn a dial like this is if you're running a game in a fixed time period and an early battle is going to take up too much time and you don't think you're going to have time for the final battle in the adventure within the time that you have. That is a great time to turn that dial all the way down, put all the monster's hit points to one, and let the players enjoy cutting them all through like Conan the Barbarian in a Frazetta painting. Now, of course, you could always have monsters just run away or surrender. That's a pretty common approach for this. The problem with this is that it still keeps the battle going. If the monsters run away, a lot of times players are going to want to chase them down, and now you're spending even more time with that. Or if all of the monsters surrender, now you've got this situation where the players have to decide what they want to do with all of these new captives that they have. It really isn't simplifying the situation. But being able to cut down a bunch of enemies really quickly, that gets a battle over quickly, and it makes it really fun to do so. Now what about increasing hit points in order to beef up particular monsters? I generally only recommend doing this for boss monsters. Boss monsters have a really hard time surviving in D&D already, and so if we're going to go ahead and give our bosses more hit points, I think doing so either before or during a battle is acceptable. One of my favorite monsters is the Lich. But the Lich, unfortunately, has very few hit points for its challenge rating. At CR 21, it only has like 130 hit points. I think it's perfectly acceptable to double or even triple the amount of hit points that a Lich has in order to make it a real threat for a full group of high-level characters. Now, of course, I should do that ahead of time, but sometimes I'm very busy and I put a new monster on the table and I didn't have a lot of time to prep it or design it ahead of time, and I look at it and that monster is going to die fast. That's a circumstance where I think it's probably okay to increase the amount of hit points to make sure that a particular monster is meeting its expected challenge rating. When we think about increasing or decreasing hit points during a battle, I think it's important when we're asking ourselves why we're doing it. There's probably a few good reasons to do so, and there's also probably a few bad reasons to do it. Another good reason to tweak monster hit points might be to help a character show off a powerful ability, to offset some other monster ability that we forgot, if we want to get the timing of our adventure back on track. We want to give a particular character a chance to shine, or mostly if we want to speed up a boring battle. But what are some situations where it's probably not appropriate to change monster hit points? We probably don't want to do it just to offset a character's powerful ability. In that case, we're just taking away the character's ability that they picked up if they do extra damage and now we're increasing the amount of hit points that every monster they face ever has. We certainly don't want to do it if we feel like we just want to stick it to the players, if we're, pl if we're picking on one particular character, or we're just plain mad. I like to think of tweaking hit points as one of the lazy DM's little helpers. It's a way that we can keep our hands on the game, keep the feeling of the game fun for ourselves and for the players, and do it without having to do a lot of extra work ahead of time. 
It's a really powerful capability. So while some DMs are definitely against tweaking hit points after a monster has hit the table, which I think is completely fine, for others, we want to have our hands on the dial a little bit more so that we can make sure that the type of game that we're running and the feeling of that game is running in the direction that we want. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can help me out by subscribing to the Sly Flourish newsletter, supporting me directly on Patreon, subscribing to my YouTube channel, or picking up any of my books. Thank you very much and have a great day.